Lower temperatures and higher humidity are giving firefighters the upper hand against some of the giant wildfires burning in north central Washington. KXY 4's Grace Ditzler working for you with the latest on some of the biggest in our area. Grace? Nadine, cooler weather and light rains have helped firefighters make progress on some of these fires, but there's still work to be done. We'll start in Okanagan County. The Okanagan complex of wildfires is 40% contained at more than 144,000 acres. This has been the largest wildfire in state history until more than half was split off by fire managers into a separately managed blaze. The fire behavior right now is moderate and parts of the fire received light rainfall, which helped calm down fire behavior in many areas. The Okanagan complex has cost nearly $14 million to fight and 1,200 firefighters remain on the lines. Next to the North Star Fire, the fire is 205,331 acres and 25% contained. Recent light rainfall across the fires combined with relative humidity levels helped calm down the fire activity here too. The conditions will help with point protection efforts, line construction, and burnout operations. Firefighters say they are now able to directly attack the fire in ways that weren't possible before. Now to Stevens County. The Carpenter Road fire is estimated at more than 65,000 acres and is 40% contained. Fire suppression continues on the north side of the fire and the south and southeast borders are in mop-up and patrol status. Slow growth is expected over the next day and firefighter safety and safety of the public remains firefighters' top priority. And the Tower Fire, a series of fires that are part of the Kniksu complex, are 13% contained. Crews say it's burned about 24,000 acres. And for the latest on wildfires, follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Just search KXLY. Reporting in studio, Grace Ditzler, KXLY 4 News.